Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Emily. And in this episode, I want to talk about Sika. Hey, Dad, who is Sika? Well, I'm glad you asked, Emily, uh, because Sika is an interesting company. They're from Germany. Uh, they're a family-owned organization, and they specialize in calibration instruments for pressure and temperature. Why would someone need to calibrate a pressure gauge? Well, uh, Pressure gauges are used all over. They're used in manufacturing, they're used in medical uh, production facilities, they're also used in uh, hospitals in a variety of locations, and they're used uh, for a couple things. One, they're needed to maintain and monitor processes, how something is being manufactured. Uh, they're also used uh, for safety, for example, on a boiler uh, in, a, in a ship or in a building. So it's really important to know if your pressure gauge is reading correctly. How can someone do this on their own? Well, Sika has a product. Uh, this one is a handheld unit. It's called a P40 pump. There's a few different models like this out in the market. And the P40 pump allows you to calibrate both pressure and vacuum on your pressure gauge. Uh, it works pretty simple. Pretty simple? How complicated is it? Well, Emily, it's not that complicated. Actually, for me, the hardest thing is getting a good seal because I always forget to stick uh, the washers and gaskets in the right place. But uh, to do it, uh, you'll have the handheld pump You'll have a master calibration gauge, all of which we provide from Sika, and then from there, you'll just need to put on the gauge that you want to calibrate. In this case, it's just a small, uh, inexpensive pressure gauge uh, that someone wanted calibrated. Uh, to make the whole thing put together, uh, you'll also need um, some, a variety of washers and seals that come with the system. And then I always think to use my favorite crescent wrenches to put it all together. Uh, we don't over tighten things, um, but that's what they're there for. Uh, but to do it, it's actually pretty simple. Um, there's a valve here to close it. Once everything is connected and sealed, I'll let you hold this. And it is turned on. And I've hit the reset button to zero it. And then once I'm at zero, I can begin pumping. And typically people would check it at two different locations. So one pump gets me to 37 here. I can manually adjust that 37 to exactly 35 if I want, just by dialing it back a little bit here. And a little more, and a little more. And then once I get to 35, I can record the result here. And then to go to the next, I pump it again. And in this case, I got to 52. Again, I will back off a little bit to exactly 50 here. Compare my gauge under test, or my unit under test, as some people call it, with my master. And then after that, I can again pump again. Careful not to exceed the limit of either the master or the gauge under test. Record that, and once those recordings are done, I'm finished. Just open this small valve that releases the pressure, and I'm ready to go on to my next gauge, just by removing that and replacing it with a new gauge. Hey Dad, where could someone find one of these? Well, I'm glad you asked, Emily. We do sell these on our website, inspectionengineering.biz. You'll get the handle. Uh, you can buy the specific uh, master gauge that you need for the range that you're calibrating in, as well as all the various adapters to fit your different gauges, all in one package kit. Thanks for watching this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.